this angle is probably going to be unpleasant, but it's the best that we've got. So I'm just going to work with it. Wow, I can't believe that I'm actually recording my third. I'm going to FTF. I'm going to Forks, Washington to kick off my FTF vlogs. The only thing now is that this is on a different channel. My last two were on the Buy Podcast with Raven and Ree, which if you're new here, which probably are because I have not used this channel. I only have one video and it's my Portland vlog from last year. That was meant to go on the other channel and then I completely forgot to edit and upload it until last month. So this is my personal channel that I have and I'm using it to basically start my vlogs for this year's upcoming Forever Twilight and Forks Festival. All my other vlogs are on the Bite Podcast with Raven and Ree. I will leave a link in the description and I'll probably leave like a little thing up here for you to like click and go. That's basically where um, my vlogs from 2021 and 2022 are there. Raven and I had a podcast channel dedicated to Twilight and that's where we uploaded basically bi-weekly videos talking about Twilight, any upcoming events. It happened at the start of the pan like prime pandemic when Stephanie Meyer released the um final version of Midnight Sun, which we have been waiting 10 years for. So that's where we basically were like, let's start a podcast channel because Raven and I had been on Twilight TikTok discourse pretty much that entire summer since I want to say March. Of, I had started March of 2020. I believe Raven also started around that time. And then around August, end of summer is when she contacted me about a podcast. And I was like, hell yeah. So we ended up for about two and a half. It was two years. Yeah, two years we had the Bite Podcast with Raven and Ree, and it's on an indefinite hiatus at the moment. Who knows, we might come back, especially with the fact that there's probably a TV show in the rumors circulating, and Stephanie Meyer has slowly but surely updated us on the Jacob Renesme book trilogy that she's working on. So we might come back for an update on that. But you could still go check out our videos or listen to our podcast on Spotify. But if you want to watch our vlogs and like our recap from FTF the past two years, go to that channel. They're on the YouTube. If you're wondering about the Christmas tree in the back, um, Grace, who is my college best friend, my current roommate, I live with her, we work together. Uh, she just decided to keep her Christmas tree up all year. So yeah. I mean, why not? It's very pretty. It's, it's at the aesthetically pleasing, all the gold. Um, so yeah, she just said to keep it up all year and I kind of dig it. Also, Grace went with me to FTF last year and she's coming again this year. So you will see her in my vlogs. You see me like doing this, um, Cinnamon, her dog is sitting right next to me and I'm giving her attention because she's so cute. Or she might come in my lap. You might see her in the corner. Yeah, she might actually come on my lap in a moment. Okay. Okay, so basically to start off this video, um, well, hi, I'm Rihanna. I probably should have said that at the beginning, but Ri, uh, I make Twilight content, literally, but you probably already guessed from the three minutes I've already, you know, spoke. And I'm going to FTF this year. So FTF is Forever Twilight in Forks Festival. It happens every year in September during like the week of or the week going into Bella's birthday because Bella's birthday canonically is on September 13th. So they always try to have it around her birthday week because also it's also Renesmee's because Renesmee's is like, R Renesmee's birthday is odd. Some people say it's the 10th, others say it's the 11th. But anyway, it's usually around that week that the festival happens. So this year they're actually having it a week later than what it was the past two years because the past two years it has always been like the second weekend of September. This year it's actually going into the third weekend because of how the dates fall. It's from the 14th, yeah, it's the 14th through the 18th this year because festival always starts on the Thursday and then goes to the Sunday. And every year they have, they try to get special guests like cast members and the first year I met Peter Fashionelli, who I'll put a picture right here, uh, Carlisle Cullen, and I have his autograph. I had VIT that year, so I got to do the autograph photograph shoot. And then last year I didn't do VIT, but I did go to the fandom party, and that's where I got the chance to meet that year's guests, which were Billy Burke, Charlie Swan, and Maggie Grace, who played Urena. 
And then of course, Eric Odom, I met him twice. Met him the first year and the second year. He's also going this year. So hopefully I'll get him a third time to meet him. But the special guest this year, the only reason why I'm going this year is because I wasn't planning to guys. I wasn't supposed to go this year. But then they announced on New Year's Day that Ashley Green, the Alice Cullen, who literally is my favorite character, my favorite fictional character of all time. If you know me, then you know. She is going this year and I was like, I have to go. Now I have to go. So that's basically why I'm going this year. Also, look, Rochelle Over, I could probably mispronounce, but Rochelle, the OG Victoria from Twilight, is also going. So I need to dress up in the baseball outfit because the two of the most iconic baseball scene characters are there. Here's a video of um, when Kenzie surprised me on my 21st birthday with a, I believe it was a cameo from Ashley Green. Hi, Re, I'm Alice, and I wanted to wish you the happiest 21st birthday. That is such an exciting and amazing birthday. I hope you have something so fun planned. Uh, I know things are a little bit different this year um, because of everything going on with COVID, but it sounds like you have friends around you who love you so very much and are so excited to celebrate you. Um, so I hope you have the best birthday ever. I also hear that you have been practicing your leg kick to recreate the scene, um, the baseball scene that Alice did. Uh, that makes Makes me so happy um, that you know we're still able to bring so much joy to so many people through these characters uh, and I want to see this leg kick whenever you're done with it that was something um, I did not plan it was kind of accidental and worked out really well because I think it's such a cool like iconic moment at least for me with one of my characters that I was able to play so that makes me so excited so thank you for that and again have the best best 21st birthday ever and I was literally losing my mind I Sobbed. It kind of went semi-viral on TikTok when I posted it. <laughs> Cinnamon. Cinnamon's right here. I don't know if you can see her. How are you doing for? So, um, yeah. That's why I'm going this year. Because I really want to meet Ashley. I have party and fan. I have the party and the gala. Because basically, VIT, and I've explained this in my past too. Like, I'm going to FTF videos. But I'll explain it again for anyone who's new or interested. So, Forever Twilight and Forks is a base half a week. It's four days, four day festival in Forks, Washington. Now, Forks, Washington is where Twilight is based, like set in the books and in the movies. However, it was not filmed in Forks, Washington. The first movie was actually filmed in Portland, Oregon, which is where my vlog, my Portland vlog, is because that's where we toured the movie sites. Now. They have the festival in Forks and there's a bunch of free events. They have, a, it's like, you don't have to pay like the ticket. The only thing that are ticketed are the parties and the VIT. But if you get the VIT, the parties are included in that as well as the photograph autograph event, the panel with the special guests and then the three meals, um, which is a breakfast, the Bella Italia catered dinner, and then a luncheon. That's $550. That's how it was this year. They're sold out. Um, when I went the first time, it was three twenty-five, and then it bumped up to four fifty, and now it's five fifty. So each year the price has increased. Um, I don't know if they've included anything new, but from what I've seen when I looked it up, it looks like it's the same stuff every year. They just make it bigger because they're more like it, they they make it more extravagant, you know. So I have party tickets. I, I didn't have the VIT last year. I just went to the fandom party and I got lucky and met Billy and Maggie there. And then I went this year, we have fandom party and gala, which are both the parties. We got the separate tickets for that. And we just didn't get the VIT, which comes with the panel, the photograph, autograph and the meals. I don't know. They might actually let upgrades happen this summer if they do and I have the money for it I might do it just because I really want to get Ashley's autograph just because she's my favorite and that's why I'm even going to Forks but if not I hope to meet her at one of the parties and get a picture with her there's a lot to do they end up having like um dance lessons because they have actually like an Edward slide and a Bella shuffle which the Edward slide is to supermassive black hole and then the Bella Shuffle is to like Sister Rosetta, I believe. Uh, and then there's a, on the last night on Sunday is a karaoke party hosted by 
yours truly, Eric Odom, the king of karaoke. Eric played Peter in Breaking Dawn Part 2. He had no lines, but he actually was in quite a bit of a the scenes. He is so cool. I've met him twice now, and he's such a great guy. I actually have a video that we asked him for our friend Jazz, and I'll play it right now. Hey Jazz, it's Eric Odom. Why aren't you here? We missed you. This is insane. We have this whole weekend, everybody's been going, hey Eric, do you know where Jazz is? And I'm like, no, I've been asking everyone. And we're really, uh, we're just really disappointed and we really miss you. And we wish you were here. So maybe we'll see you next year. No pressure. But he's so cool, he's so friendly, so welcoming, and he, is amazing at karaoke, like literal icon. So he hosts that and it's called the A Thousand Years Karaoke Party. It's basically the farewell because it's the last thing for FTF. There's also, you know, Port Angeles. That's where Bella Italia, the restaurant is. I've ate there twice, mushroom ravioli with Coke, obviously. So good, we're gonna go there again. Like, it, you have to. Like, if you go to Forks, you gotta go to the Port Angeles and, well, Port Angeles and go eat at Bella Italia. They do do reservations, so it's like, Reservations for September open in August, so it's best to call in August to get your reservation for if you're coming. Or like whenever you're coming, like always try and get a reservation a month out. There's the Quilute Reservation where La Push Beach is. Again, please be respectful when going onto the reservation. They are very welcoming and they want to, you know, share their culture and their history with people. They understand that Twilight brings in a lot of tourists from around the country, around the globe, but please, all they ask is to be respectful of their culture, their land, their customs, and they're very welcoming. La Push Beach is beautiful. Um, and yeah, so just be mindful of that. They have a costume contest for people um, cosplaying as Twilight characters. Kenzie, act I'll put pictures right here. Kenzie won the most creative group um, category last year. She was literally mushroom ravioli with two cokes. Oh my god, it was so good. I, I love that. I you could probably I probably won't play the video because I was obnoxious as I was cheering. Creative category for a thirteen and older. The winner of this category is. Miss McKenzie, mushroom ravioli. Yeah! yeah, there's just so much to do. They, um, you have the thrift away, like that Bella talks about in the book, which is their grocery store. They have, um, like several little shops. They have, I believe it's, uh, what's it called? There's one shop that something Twilight, like, I know, they have, like, quite a bit, and then there's a lot of, like, little mom and pop shops that, um, sell Twilight stuff and, like, other, like, cool things that you would see on Etsy almost, but they're very, I don't know, I got, I can't explain it, but it's so cool. I got my Rosalie necklace from it. Um, sorry if I say I'm a lot, my, like, thoughts go quick, and I'm trying to, like, speak as fast as my thoughts. Um, I, I'm, I don't want this video to be too long because I do have two other videos that kind of go more in depth with planning your trip to Forks and how to manage with Forever Twilight and Forks. This year our plan is like still on the fence. I need to talk with um, Kenzie. I'm traveling this year with Grace, Kenzie again for the third time. Our friend Megan from Canada, you might know her as um, I think it's, what, what's her at? Megan the Turtle, I believe. I'll put like some pictures of her on here. She, I've known her for her Emmett and Charlie TikToks. Oh my God, that's how I discovered her. She is so funny. I love Megan. Uh, I can't wait to see her again. Our friend Allie, who we met at Forks in 2021, she's coming again this year. I don't know if Kenzie's doing the bazaar. Kenzie did the bazaar last year and it was very popular. She made like books and make, not books, well, yeah, they're, they're, it's the books, but she made clutches and jewelry boxes out of the book. There's the author's autograph event, which we met Tracy Wolf, the author of Crave, the, um, last year. Here is picture video of that. That was really cool. Honestly, Crave is how Kenzie and I met. She slid into my DMs and she was like, hey, I see that you love Twilight and that you like books. Have you ever read this book, Crave? I didn't read that book until literally the month before Forks. We were going until, it wasn't until Tracy Wolf was announced as the author's special guest that year that I actually read the book. Um, but I got an autograph and I got a picture with her. 
I'm not gonna say anything about that. As well as Christine Riccio, who I've been watching her for like years on YouTube. I'm actually really excited. I need to meet her because I've been watching her YouTubes. And Tasha, oh my god, Tasha, um, Tashaopolis. Anyway, Natasha, I've been watching her and Christine for years. It is their FTF vlog game thing that they did a couple years ago with Daniel Cudmore and Charlie Bewley that I discovered them and I discovered what freaking FTF was. And I need to meet, I, I want to meet them so bad. Like, I love them. I've been watching them for years. And also this guy, um, God, what is his name? He makes such funny freaking Twilight TikToks. Uh, they have so many cool guests this year. Like, honestly, this year's special guests between the actors and, like, YouTubers and content creators, it's amazing. And then, of course, the iconic Olympic Coven are going to be there. I love them so much. I... I can't wait to see them again. They always, they slay the party looks. I mean, I'm gonna just show some pictures from them last year and the year before, like, they slay it. Cinnamon in my teeth. So yeah, um, I just need to get my plane ticket. I already have my party tickets. I need to get my plane ticket. I need to figure out rental car and then dates because we're staying up until the 20th and I don't know when I'm gonna leave. It's gonna depend, um, cause I'm still working out days cause I'm gonna be in school. I'm gonna be in my third semester of grad school, which I'm retaking a class that I dropped last semester. So that's gonna put a lot of, a little anxiety cause I need to, you know, manage. I was in school last year. I had just started grad school when I went last year and <laughs> it was a little stressful trying to manage my time and do my homework and have fun, but I did it. So it's gonna be a little bit more intense this year. So that's why I'm figuring out what's the best travel plans for me um, with that. But we're gonna go to Portland again this year and eat at the Carver Cafe that we missed out last year. That is like the big reason why we're going to Portland again this year is we need to go to the high school, we need to go to Canyon Beach and we need to go to Carver Cafe. Okay, but this is already going on 20 minutes. So I'm gonna stop it at this. Feel free to check out my other videos on the By Podcast with Raven and Reed channel where my other vlogs are from FTF Portland, all that. Also, my I'm going to FTF because I explained a little bit more on the planning process in those two videos from 2021 and 2022. This one, I just kept it short and simple because I didn't want to repeat myself. And also, this year is a little different with my planning process because I wasn't originally supposed to go. So... Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you're going to FTF this year. So all my socials will be linked below and yeah, have a good rest of your day. Happy Pride Month, by the way.